Hi guys, I am Ganesh Thakur, welcomes you all on our channel ABT Gurukul. In this video we will see gene library and types of gene library. So before we proceed further, first like this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of our new video. You may follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Facebook, Instagram and Twitter ID link is given in the video description box. Guys, here is a question for you. Watch full video and write your answer in comment box. The question is, what is gene and what is full form of DNA? So comment your answer. We look forward to your reply. Now come to the topic. Gene library is a collection of DNA fragments produced by cloning typically from a particular organism. There are two types of gene library. First, genomic library and second, cDNA library. So first let's see genomic library. Genomic library is a collection of clones of DNA fragments that represent a complete set of genes, that is, DNA sequence of an organism. It may be a virus, bacterium, a plant or an animal. For example, collection of all the clones obtained from genome of E. coli collectively represent the genomic library of E. coli. For constructing a genomic library of an organism, its entire genome is isolated and cut into fragments of equal size by restriction endonuclease enzyme. These fragments are then inserted into cloning vector. The recombinant vector are then transferred to suitable organism such as bacteria, yeast or a virus. One fragments in each organism and then these transformed organism are cultured to produce their clones and stored. Now let's see the second type of gene library that is cDNA library. The library constructed by using cDNA is called cDNA library. This process is also called Taminism because Tamin and Baltimore discovered it. cDNA is a copy of DNA produced by using mRNA in the process of reverse transcriptase. Enzyme reverse transcriptase helps in this process. For construction of cDNA library, cDNA is inserted into suitable vector like a phage or plasmid and then cloned in a proper host example E. coli. The cDNA represent the DNA of only eukaryotes and not prokaryotes. The cDNA library can be constructed by using mRNA because mRNA are highly processed, intron-free representative of DNA having only coding sequences. cDNA fragment is prepared directly by using mRNA as template using different biochemical methods. Since cDNA clone is prepared by using a specific mRNA, there is no need of screening the cDNA clones. The cDNA clone with desired function may be few or large in number. Therefore, all these clones must be ligated to a suitable vector and transferred into the host bacteria. Each bacterial cell possesses a single DNA clone, hence Collection of all recombinant bacteria is called cDNA library. The bacteria are maintained on maintenance media for several years. Now, at the end, let's see application of cDNA library. Eukaryotic cDNA can express itself in bacterial cell while the original DNA cannot. And single-stranded cDNA with radioactive labeling is very useful in genetic engineering. That's it in this video, we will come back soon with new topic, like, subscribe and share our channel, stay with us, thanks for watching, Jai Hind.